Hi everyone, uh, my name is Stephen O'Donnell. I am the chair of the National Online Recruitment Awards. Today I am joined by Louise Trines, the vice chair uh, of the NORAS. Uh, the NORAS 21st anniversary event is uh, fast approaching. Uh, we have already opened nominations and registrations for uh, all contenders for this year. Uh, each year we normally expect uh, between 20 and 25,000 nominations from the public for approximately almost 600 separate recruitment websites. Uh, so this year uh, we anticipate uh, uh, that we're going to be back, well we know that we're going to be back to our traditional venue which is Sway in Covent Garden in London uh, and uh, what I want to do uh, today is just talk with Louise about uh, some of the, the key dates that we have between now and then and what's going to be happening in the process uh, for the notice. Uh, Louise, can I ask are you excited for the notice this year? I am, I am. I hadn't realised it was the 21st anniversary which is very remiss of me but that's super exciting isn't it? It means that uh, the Noras are now a full-grown adult and have come of age. Uh, so uh, uh, over the years, uh, the Noras uh, uh, kind of grew arms and legs and became a fixture in the uh, the online recruitment uh, 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 firmament, if you like. Uh, every year, people expect to uh, to see who the finalists are, who the winners are going to be, and get involved in the process. Uh, so one of the the key uh, elements at the very beginning is uh, is who we're going to have on the judging panel. Normally, we have uh, very similar to uh, to last year, most of the judges will follow on from the previous year, uh, but we like to uh, add a sprinkling of new faces. Uh, so we're in the process of doing that right now. Uh, but uh, uh, the key people that we have involved as judges uh, are those who have experience in either HR recruitment uh, or technology in the recruitment sector and people who uh, are asked when they're doing the judging to do so on behalf of candidates. So to an extent, we want their exp expertise and experience, but to another extent, we ask them to put that aside and judge all the all, all the, uh, the the nominated sites from a, a candidate's perspective. Uh, what's your experience in uh, in being a judge in the Norris over the, uh, the past 20 years? It's been great. It's been uh, really interesting to come across sites that I either have no reason to look at normally. Um, mm -hmm. So some of the job boards I'm really familiar with, but year on year, I'm not going to them. I'm not a job seeker. So that's quite exciting mm -hmm. to see those sites afresh each year. One of the great things about being the, a judge and having been for a number of years is I can see that development or lack yeah. of. And sometimes there is a lack of development from year to year. And they've been yeah. actually the more tricky years to judge. Um, mm -hmm. The other cool thing about judging is seeing sites you've not come across before. Um, so yeah. some of the um, categories I particularly like are innovation um, and um, the, you know, the ones where we're seeing new newer businesses in them. Some of them smaller brands um, just they've not come across my radar before. And this is a really yeah. nice opportunity to have a look at them. Um, yeah. It is a time consuming process being a judge. But when you get the additional value of finding out about sites that you should have known about, it, you know, that's mm -hmm. part of what makes it worthwhile. Yeah, it's definitely an education every year to see new sites coming through that you weren't uh, you, you weren't seeing before. And one of the key things about the NORAS is that it's very much an open uh, uh, awards event where uh, we're not limited by people. Uh, companies having to uh, to, to pay uh, to uh, to enter. They can register, but it's not obligatory that they do. So ca candidates can nominate sites that aren't uh, registered because what we want to make sure of is that after the event, no one's saying, oh, I knew of a, a, a site that was far better than you know these sites that were finalists or that one that won, uh, because we want to include every single website in there, whether whether they've entered themselves or not, because we ask the uh, the, the job seekers to, uh, to to make those entries. So in terms of key dates, uh, nominations have already opened. Uh, we uh, uh, we started the nomination process uh, last week uh, on the second of second uh, of, of August. Uh, nominations will be open until Monday the sixth of September at five pm. Uh, Sites can also, in that period, can register themselves, uh, and when they do register, uh, they get uh, a snippet of code that they can use on their sites, in their emails, or in any social media to encourage their visitors to their websites to make nominations uh, for them and tell us, most importantly, uh, tell us uh, what they like about uh, the, 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 the recruitment website that they're going to. So that would include uh, job boards, uh, as you would expect, uh, 
specialist job boards, generalist job boards, uh, employers themselves, small and large, uh, in all sizes. So if you're if you're a very large PLC or a very small uh, firm, then uh, if you're recruiting through your website, then we want to hear about it. And of course, recruitment websites uh, from uh, uh, agencies, large and small, so large PLCs right down to uh, to, to small recruitment agencies uh, and uh, and publications. Essentially, anywhere that's advertising vacancies online, anyone anywhere that, that gives a candidate experience, uh, we want to, uh, to to be looking at them and finding the very best of them this year. Uh, we know that uh, there are so many sites out there that do an amazing job and we want to focus on them. Uh, there are lots of sites that don't do so well, uh, but uh, we'll leave those to one side and focus on the very best because by doing that, uh, we give that as an example for other sites to follow. This is what good looks like. Uh, so uh, in the judging process, that's why it's so important uh, that uh, we look at candidates, uh, sites from a candidate's perspective. If a job board, for example, offers amazing value for money, we're not so interested in that because, of course, candidates uh, have no idea how much it costs to advertise a vacancy and what the return on your investment might be. What we want to see is that candidates can uh, identify, find, register and apply for vacancies in as simple a way as possible and go through that recruitment process uh, in the simplest way possible. So in, in terms of the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the process from now to then, uh, as I say, there are important dates, but what we're also going to be doing is hosting regular weekly uh, NORA webcast shows uh, where we're going to be speaking with companies who are involved now or have been involved in the NORAs in the past, either as finalists or winners. Uh, I hope you'll be able to join us for uh, some, some of the shows, Louise. Who are you interviewing? Who are you talking with in those shows? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, the the first one was last week, where I interviewed uh, uh, Wendy uh, Wendy McDougall from Firefish, uh, and she's on our judging panel. But also, very importantly, wanted to find out uh, how her company is responding to the pandemic as an employer, as a recruiter themselves, uh, and how they're they're helping their clients and their companies uh, work with the technology to make sure that the online recruitment process is as. Uh, uh, as, as, as good as it can be and continually improved, bearing in mind the, uh, the time that we're in. So companies who have been finalists and winners uh, before in the NORAs, uh, we want to speak to those. Uh, we want to speak with them and find out how they are responding. We will be speaking to companies like talent.com. Uh, we spoke last year with uh, organizations like McCarthy Recruitment uh, and, and a whole number of others who had been finalists and winners uh, in, the, uh, in, in previous years. All of the finalists and winners in previous years are members of our, our NORA Academy, uh, a bit like the uh, the Oscar uh, Academy. So uh, all of those companies are the first ones that we'll be going to. But uh, we want to be able to uh, to dig into uh, those organisations a little bit further to find out uh, what they do and how they do it uh, in response to the, the current times that we're in. Because, of course, the recruitment processes have been flipped upside down in, in many cases uh, and uh, and all the all, all the normal ways that you, you would normally measure how a, a site is succeeding uh, have changed dramatically uh, and of course what candidates expect uh, so job speaker job seekers are expecting a difference in the uh, the recruiting process and of course employers are addressing how they are are, 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 are hiring people and how they're going to be working in their uh, uh, in, in their teams uh, once they join. So there's a lot to consider this year. Uh, and uh, uh, we want to know at a bit, in a bit more depth in these shows uh, just how that's affecting uh, these organizations because that will all feed into the, uh, uh, the, the judging criteria, how we, how we look at these, uh, these sites. And we want to share what we're doing and how we're doing it as, uh, as transparently as possible. How can people find out a bit more about the judges and the judging criteria and the categories and the live shows? Uh, first of all, the very first port call would be norauk.com. Uh, that's the uh, the website for the awards. Uh, on there, you'll be able to uh, to see uh, where you can register if you want to uh, register your organisation to be considered for the NORAs. Every site that's registered will be considered by our judges and there's no cost in that. All you need to do is let us know uh, your name, your company name, uh, contact details, and that's that. Uh, if you are a job seeker, 
uh, or, or indeed anyone, any member of the public can nominate any website. So you, if you click on the nominate button, you can nominate any site in any of the award categories. So that can all be done straight away. Uh, there's details there on the history of the NORAs going back over the past 20, uh, 20 years. Now, 20, this is our 21st year. And uh, uh, once once finalised, uh, we'll have the page up there with the details of the, uh, the, the judging panels for this year. There are two judging panels. The first one uh, decides uh, of those sites that have been nominated which ones are going to be the finalists uh, and the second judging panel decides of the finalists uh, who are going to be our winners uh, and the judges are asked to do that from a, a candidate's perspective throughout, throughout the, the process. Uh, so the, the awards event itself is going to be on Wednesday the 10th of November. Uh, it, as I say, it will be back at our uh, traditional uh, venue which is the Sway uh, in Covent Garden. It's unlike your traditional awards events where you're sitting at a table of 10, uh, you're getting a chicken dinner and uh, uh, there's uh, uh, ball gowns and, uh, and tuxedos. It's much less formal than that, much more suited to uh, networking. Uh, we appreciate that this year, more than any other, then we need to, uh, to take into account the, uh, the health and welfare of all attendees. So we'll be taking all measures to make sure that everyone feels as comfortable as possible uh, in the environment that they come to. Now, the event's off in November. Uh, we can't predict what's going to be happening between now and November, but we expect that as things are starting to open up, uh, then we can be uh, more relaxed about what we do, uh, whilst obviously taking care to make sure that uh, anyone with concerns has those uh, addressed and feels comfortable. If in any way you can't or don't feel comfortable coming along to the event, we are planning, planning on filming it so that uh, the following week, we'll have an edited version of the awards event uh, available online for you to see. You want to stream that live that would be an interesting event to watch live with a webcam in the corner of the room it would be great to stream live uh, i i should say that uh, the uh, if you've not been to an award the, the nora awards before then it is quite quite an experience it's normally uh, pretty noisy uh, normally quite rambunctious might be the word we have a live band uh, and uh, and anything can happen sometimes does happen but uh, the the venue itself uh, is maybe not ideal for getting the content streamed. And also, uh, what we would want to ensure is that the uh, because the awards event part of it can go on a little bit, but we want to have an edited version of that uh, available in the following week. We do also want to make it that there's a there's a, that there's a good reason to be there at the event. So anyone who's a finalist uh, for the awards and who could potentially be picking up an award, uh, we want to encourage you to come along to the event itself. So. Uh, uh, I would actively encourage people to be there, uh, especially if they're potentially up from the ward. Uh, and if they can't, uh, then they would see the event uh, next week. Uh, it's a bit like uh, football. If you uh, if you have all the live football games on TV, then who's going to come along to uh, to the event itself? So there's definitely an incentive to be at the event. Uh, but uh, if you absolutely can't, then we will uh, share a, a, an edited video of it in the following week. Super. I'm looking forward to it. Always a very interesting and enjoyable evening. Fantastic. Uh, so I, I, I encourage everyone uh, who is watching to uh, get your organisation registered. Uh, if your website is a little bit messy, uh, then tidy it up before the judges come looking. Uh, but uh, every site that's nominated and registered uh, will be considered by our judges. Uh, we look forward to seeing your nominations coming through. I uh, look forward to looking at your sites in more detail. And uh, with a fair wind and a bit of luck, uh, then your uh, organisation could be a finalist for the 21st uh, NORAS. Uh, so best of luck. And uh, I hope to see your entries coming in soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Louise, for joining me. Pleasure. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you then. Bye-bye.